Cell membranes are incredibly crowded environments, packed with proteins, lipids and carbohydrates. Competition for space is fierce and membrane proteins have to contend with many other molecules as well as macromolecular structures from within, above and below the phospholipid bilayer. Metavotropic glutamate receptors are class C G-protein coupled receptor membrane proteins or GPCRs as they are commonly known. They have an extracellular domain with ligand binding regions and a transmembrane domain with intracellular C termini. Previously, it was believed that membrane proteins such as GPCRs will, more often than not, exhibit random Brownian motion when diffusing laterally across the membrane, as pictured here. We now know that this is seldom the case due to frequent interactions with other proteins, lipids, as well as larger macromolecular structures and organelles. In fact, GPCRs can exhibit as many as four different modes of diffusion, where mobility can be influenced by interactions with other molecules and structures either above, within or beneath the cell membrane. Yanagawa et al. observed that metabotropic glutamate receptor 3, precoupled with G proteins, will diffuse rapidly across the membrane, exhibiting either Brownian or directed motion. After the GPCR molecule transitions from fast to much slower displacement, confinement can be observed. This takes place within fences or corrals, principally formed by the intracellular actin-based cytoskeleton, but also with a high degree of molecular crowding, including an increased concentration of cholesterol. Agonist binding promotes a conformational change in the GPCR, from the resting to the active state. In the active state, MGLUR is more likely to exhibit confinement within cytoskeletal fences, which form a hotspot for G protein activation. The activated G protein dissociates into its alpha and beta gamma subunits. Still within the actin cytoskeletal fences, the C terminus of the GPCR becomes phosphorylated by G protein coupled receptor kinases. C-terminal phosphorylation acts as a signal for the recruitment of arrestin to the metabotropic glutamate receptor. Arrestin binding causes the GPCR to become immobilized within a clathrin-coated pit, where the diffusion mode transitions from confinement to restriction. After immobilization, the GPCR is endocytosed into the cell within clathrin-coated vesicles, where it can be degraded or recycled for future use. 